This week in class, we covered the OSI model network layer and the ARP protocol. Now, some of the topics that were discussed were the host routing table. This is the routing table on the PC or on the computer, routing to the local network, routing to remote networks, and then other topics that came up because of this are the default gateway, the role of the default gateway, and ARP, the address resolution protocol. So let's take a look at these concepts by demonstrating in Packet Tracer using simulation mode to see what happens when we're communicating. So first of all, we have two PCs here. This is a 192.168.00 network. Okay, and this is PC 0.10, and this is PCB 0.11. Okay, now these PCs have um, routing tables. So if we look at the routing table on PCA, First of all, open up PCA, and we'll look first of all at its IP configuration. You see it's 0 0.10, subnet mask, and then the default gateway's been set to 0 0.1, which is the router here. Now, if we open up the command prompt and put in the command netstat-r to look at the routing table, this is the host routing table on the PC, we'll see that routing table. Now I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and we'll take a look at that. So in the routing table, first of all, it starts off with a list of the interfaces on the device and you can see it has a loopback interface and it also has an ethernet interface. And then we can see that there's active routes here. Now there's only one active route in here and it's to the quad zero or 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 network with the 0, .0, 0.0.0 subnet mask. This is a route to all unknown networks. This is also known as a default route. And then you can see here, there's the gateway. So to reach all unknown networks, the default route, you go to the gateway. And then our interface on PCA is 192.168.0.10. And you can see the metric, which is how good the route is, the, the lower the number is the better, and it's a one, so that's very low, so you can see this is a very good route. Now, on an actual um, routing table, host routing table on a PC, it's a little more, there's a lot more in there than just this single default route. It'll look something a little bit more like this, and this is also just shortened, but you can see here that on your PC, like if you open up your command prompt, and look at your IPv4 routing table by putting in the command netstat-r, you'll see that there's a lot more entries. But just to get the basic ones here, so there is the unknown network def default route to the gateway. Then you would have something like your loopback network. So the 127.0.0.0 with the netmask 255.0.0.0. This is class A, so it has a class A subnet mask. And you can see here that under gateway, we don't go to the gateway to reach our loopback network. It's on link, meaning it's on the local network. It's, it's local, it's, it's, on your, it's on your link, all right? It's on your interface. Then you have an APIPA network. This is a 169254. This is automatic private IP addressing when your computer does not pick up an IP address from a DHCP server, you'll get an address on this network. And notice this is also on link, okay? You don't go to the gateway at all. You don't go to the router. This is just the local network. And then the interface you can see is all of our interfaces. And then you have a couple more. Well, the network that we're actually on is the 192.168.0 network. So this is what you would expect to see, your network. And that's this network. We're 192.168.0.10, which means we're on the 192.168.0.0 network. There's the subnet mask. Once again, on link, this is the local network. Then you have the, the multicast network and the broadcast network. And you can see the net masks associated with each of those. And that's also just on link, okay, local. All right, so that's what typically, this is what you would see in a situation like this if you had an IP address on a 192.168.0 network, like this device does. However, since this is a simulator, Packet Tracer just shows the default route, the default route to all unknown networks to the gateway. 
So then the question becomes, okay, so now we'll just do a quick test. So the next thing, we've looked at the host routing table. Now we want to route to the local network. Well, to route to the local network, basically, we're not routing at all. We're not going to the default gateway. We're just on the local network. So how does PCA reach PCB? The answer is Ethernet. It's an Ethernet network. MAC addressing, MAC addresses, is going to deliver from this MAC address to this MAC address. And how do you find the MAC address? Using ARP. But if we want to see an example of it, we'll just go to simulation mode here. We'll change the um, protocols to none, and then we'll edit filters. And this time, let's just look at ICMP. So we'll just look at ICMP. We'll open up that command prompt again. And what we'll do is we'll just ping the other host. So we'll send a hello to 192.168.0.11. And we should get a reply. Now, since we're in simulation mode, what I have to do is, is I have to hit the forward button or the play button. So we forward. OK, and there goes the packet. Hits the switch. And the switch forwards it. The switch, let's say, knows where the MAC address is for PCB. So it forwarded out of the correct switch port to PCB. And then PCB forwards it back or returns the uh, echo reply to the echo request. And it goes back to PCA. So that is basically routing on the local network involves finding the MAC address of the device you want to reach and then going there. And if we open up the packets, we would see that it's basically the source and destined MAC address is discovered. Let's run it again. We'll reset the simulation and we'll run it one more time. And this time, I'll hit forward. We'll look at the incoming packet, the inbound PDU, and you can see that it's from the source MAC address, which is PCAs, to the destination MAC address, which is PCBs. You can see the source IP address, 192.168.0.10, and the source and the destination IP address, 192.168.0.11. Okay, so that's a pretty simple communication. Now, what happens though, I'll reset this simulation, reset the simulation, what happens if we want to reach a remote network? So we want to reach the server over here. Well, in that situation, we'll swap this out. How does PCA reach the server PT? So PCA wants to reach the server. The answer is the default gateway and Ethernet MAC addressing and the address resolution protocol to find the MAC address. But basically, PCA, if it wants to get to this network over here, it needs to go to the default gateway. Now, why is that? The reason is, if we look at that routing table again, if we look at the routing table, the one route that the PCA has is just a default route to the unknown networks. There's no route to the 209.165.200.0 network. There is no route to that. PCA does not know how to reach this network. So in this situation, if that route is not in the host routing table, then it will go to the default gateway. That's what it does. Now, even if it had a, a real routing table that had more entries, there would be no route in here to a 209.165.200 network. Your host PC won't know that. What your host PC will know, though, is that for all unknown networks, which this is uh, this counts, this is a remote network, and we don't know what it is, we're going to go to the default gateway. So the question is now is that we need to go to the default gateway, so we're going to need the default gateway's MAC address. So that's where Ethernet, MAC addressing, and ARP come in. But let's watch the communication anyway. So we'll see here, we'll, we'll run a ping here, and we're going to ping 209.165.200.200, which is the server. We'll hit enter. It fires up this, this ping right here. You can see right there, ICMP, and here goes the packet. Now, as we hit forward here and watch it take off, We'll look at the PDU, we'll look inside this packet, the inbound PDU details, and you'll see here that the destination address this time is a different MAC address. 
This is actually the MAC address of the router's interface right here. The source MAC address is PCA. Now, so in other words, this is a communication on the Ethernet network from this MAC address to this MAC address. However, at layer three, at layer three, it's from PCA to the server. So at layer three, it's a communication from this IP address to this IP address. But at layer two, it's a communication from this MAC address to this MAC address. In other words, this needs to be delivered to the gateway. And then the router, the gateway, will route it to the destination network. And if we look here, and we'll see, if we forward it along its way, it reaches the default gateway. The default gateway, if we look at the, at the inbound PDU details, there is the, the destination MAC address, which is its, and then the source IP and destination IP. If we go to the outbound PDU detail, you'll see that the router is going to switch out the Ethernet frame at layer two with a serial frame, an HDLC frame, and now there's no MAC addresses because it's going to send it across this serial link to the router over here. And this, it requires a different layer two frame. However, the IP addresses stay the same. And so if we forward it, it reaches its destination and it's good. So we'll, here, we'll do another one. There it goes, here it goes, here it goes. It reaches the server. Now the server will reply and the process is reversed. The addresses are reversed, the IP addresses are reversed, and it goes from this source MAC address to this destination MAC address, and then across the serial link, and then reaches its destination. But you can see it's a different process.